Health risk on the University of Cincinnati campus tonight after a student is diagnosed with bacterial meningitis. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live at the university tonight with what health officials are doing to stop it from spreading to others. Jay? Well, Carol, the Cincinnati Health Department brought in a team yesterday after they learned of this case of meningitis and they identified this student's uh, closer friends, potentially roommates uh, from last term. You see this individual lives in Warren County now and has been commuting down to the College of Business where he uh, attends class. So this individual was diagnosed and hospitalized on Monday. And again, as I say, uh, the word has gotten out on Wednesday. And now today, definitely the word has gotten out among students. We've talked to one girl who says that on Facebook now, it is a matter of discussion. So this health team from the Cincinnati uh, Health Department, what they did, they identified eight people they are now treating those individuals prophylactically with antibiotics uh, that if they were potentially infected that this would uh, stop anything before it grew. Now we spoke to two students tonight to get their reaction on this health risk. From what I know, it's not a highly, a highly uh, transmittable disease. Yeah. So I think just treating the close acquaintances is okay, but it's definitely a good idea that the school lets everybody in the, in the community know so that anybody that has been in contact with them can uh, get treated or can find out if they need treatment. Make sure um, you're not touching a bunch of things that everyone else is touching and I mean, stay safe. No sharing glasses either? Um, I'm pretty bad Oops. with that one myself, but I usually only do that with my roommates, so. Now, physicians with the health department urge people to, when they cough, cover their mouth like that, don't share glasses, and, uh, you know, essentially uh, make sure that uh, you otherwise uh, wash your hands, too. That is another way to uh, potentially uh, infect another person. This can come from people who carry it but don't realize they don't manifest any symptoms. So, again, very important to... Uh, keep proper habits when it comes to hygiene uh, to avoid any potential spread. And we'll be on top of this story uh, as it develops to see uh, if potentially uh, anyone else develops this disease. Carol? Definitely a time to take precautions. Jay Warren, live at the University of Cincinnati campus. Thanks, Jay.